boy will never forget that his father and mother always loved him. That's a real story that happened. But it's a story that talks about how God loves us. Because when we get in trouble, we go to the park. What's the park over in Admiralty? What is it called? Chatter Garden. Chatter, Chatter, Chatter. We go to Chatter Park. And we have a beer. With our friends and we eat. And we paint our nail, toenails. We don't go to church. Because we look at the bad things that we have done in our life. Or the bad things that have happened, we say a prayer, oh God, let me be good. And it doesn't happen. Or the people in church we don't like and we fight. So we end out in Chater Park. And when it's raining like this, we'll get in the, the Legislative Council building and hide from the rain. And we don't go to church and we don't. Jesus doesn't like me. I'm not saying. The truth is what? Jesus, what? Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. No matter what you do, you remember that song? Only one person remembers. No matter what you do, Jesus loves you. Does Jesus always like the things we do? Jesus probably goes, these people are driving me crazy. They are get scared because the devil lies to them. And then they start fighting with each other. Okay, so today's little talk. We will give you a lot of Bible verses. And if you know who you are in Jesus, you will stop being afraid that God doesn't love you. And you will stop hiding away from God. You will realize that no matter what, God is with you. Someday, if I am become a martyr for Jesus and I'm killed or beaten for my faith, God is still with me. If I get fired from my job and have no money, God is still with me. If I have everything I could want in the world and I'm happy, God, God is still with me. Okay, so we're going to do a few Bible verses. And then I'm going to give you a paper. And I want you to get in small groups. And I want you to learn about who you are in Jesus. <laughs> okay, what's the rule, Perlita? Do you need somebody to be your spiritual person to lead you to God? <laughs> or do you have the ability to use the Bible and go directly to Jesus? <laughs> what do you think the answer is? Uh, actually, right now is uh, I my option is the second option because I'm already a Christian now. Yeah. We give we give people help. 
But the best help is to encourage them they can go directly to Jesus. They're saying with the Bible in your hand and a Jesus telephone in your heart. Do you know you have a Jesus telephone in your heart? You can call Jesus directly from you. And talk to him. Next time you go to the doctor for an X-ray. The doctor will say, "What's that telephone doing?" Okay. Let's talk about our heart. I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. You have it? These are promises. If you have a new heart, and it's flesh, not stone. All the past have gone away. God will heal all your pain. And allow you to love people like never before. All the past has gone away. When you have a new heart with Jesus, you become more beautiful in your face. It's like a facelift. Because you are alive and not hurt anymore. Jesus will help you to never fear again. Okay, Micah 3 8. Micah is hard to find. It's. Where is it? Micah. Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah. This is who you are. This is why you need to memorize scripture to tell you who you are. Okay, you got it? My As for me, I am filled with power. With the Spirit of the Lord. 
And with justice and might, I am filled with power. Say it. I am filled with power. With the Spirit of the Lord. With justice and might. Justice and might. You want to read it in Chinese? Amen. Okay, so when you're reading these Bible verses, you need to say, This is me. Judy is filled with power of the Spirit. You have the Spirit of God in you. We all get afraid. But we have the Spirit of God in us. We have a clean, fresh heart. We don't have to be afraid. Because we are filled with power. Okay, let's go to the next one. Second Timothy one seven. Oh, I Second Timothy one seven. New Testament. Two Timothy one seven. Oh, I want I yeah. <laughs> okay, for God gave us the spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self control. Okay, I'm laughing because. A man who wrote a book that Mother and I are reading right now says God gave us self-control, but He didn't give us the power to control others. We can lead people to Jesus, but we can't become their master. So you have God's spirit within you. Okay? It's not a religion where you believe in God. God comes in you. Boo! And says, I am making you my daughter, my son. You have my spirit of life in you. You are not an orphan. You are not a child, but a partner with God in this life. Okay? In the spirit, the power of love and self-control and power, but not fear. The other day, I walked from Pastor David's church to Nam Chong and Tiara. It was 11 o'clock at night. I walked through the public housing. My friend said, don't do that, they might rob you. God has his spirit in us. We do not need to be afraid. The reason we get upset 
the reason we argue with people is because we are afraid. Okay, one more verse. Philippians 4 8. Oh, did you read that word, verse in Chinese? Okay, read Timothy in Chinese. You are Philippians 4 8. If you start at verse 4, this tells everything you need to know about your life. Philippians 4 8 tells us to stop thinking fear based thoughts. If you see something bad, you pray about it, but you don't talk about how bad it is. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, do we have any lovely in this room? If there is anything excellent, worthy of praise, think about those things. The Bible wants you to only think about good things. If you see something you don't like, you pray that God will make a change. And then forget about it. Because the devil will try to make you only see bad all over the world. rob you of your joy. The Bible says, pray for your government rulers that you don't like. But if you spend your whole dinner time talking about all the bad, your friends will go to the prince of this world, the devil. Because they didn't hear any life. They didn't hear any hope. They didn't hear any good things. Okay, you want to read it in Chinese? Okay. Okay, I'm going to give everybody a list. I want you to get, get in groups. I want you to start reading Bible verses to know who you are. The more you know who you are, the better you will feel. We will do this till 1 o'clock. From 1 to 105, you will then pray for each other that you will receive what God has shown you. 
搭一個字一點搭一個字啦，你會為呢度啲人。And then we can have lunch. 幫。OK。呢度特別幫我哋班木仔。Pastor Philip, can you be work with these two beautiful people? Yes. No. Uh, you can. Hi. You work with Pastor Philip. Judy and Gwen, can you work together? Can you work with these two beautiful ladies? And mother, can you work with these three two beautiful ladies? Okay. You guys start knowing who you are and you will be happy. I don't know if that has all the work works right now.